Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly, and today we're taking a comprehensive look at the Anchor Solix F3800, a power station that's revolutionizing the way we think about portable power. As we explore this unit and complete some testing, I think you'll find it to be a reliable, efficient, and versatile power solution. Let's get started. One of the first things you may notice is the F3800's unique tower design, allowing it to blend seamlessly into any room and even stored neatly in a small corner. As it stands, it has a height of 27.5 inches, a width of 13.25 inches, and a depth of 15.5 inches. This unit weighs right at 132 pounds, but it's still pretty manageable. Pushing this button on the back reveals the hidden handle, allowing you to move it around on the four wheels with relative ease. Anchor has also included brakes for the wheels to use when needed. Notice the rubber feet also here on the bottom side. These allow for the unit to be set down in the horizontal orientation as well. A handle has even been conveniently included here on the bottom side to aid in lifting when needed. Although it will serve its purpose sitting at home comfortably out of the way in a corner, it's ready to go with you on your next adventure. Whether upright or laid down, its adaptability stands out, offering flexibility in storage and transport. This unit comes with an AC charging cable as well as two MC4 solar charging connectors designed for connecting your panels in parallel. One of the standout features of the F3800 is its ability to deliver 240 volt split phase power from a single unit, something you don't see in other portable power stations. Imagine powering heavy duty equipment like well pumps, air compressors, or even connecting it to your home's main panel for emergency backup. This can be accomplished through a generator port with an interlock kit, a transfer switch, or anchor home power panel. It truly seems like they've thought of just about everything. The F3800 is powered by a 3,840 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery from which it derives its name. It is supported by a 6,000 watt inverter with a 9,000 watt surge capacity. This internal capacity can be expanded with additional batteries, each adding another 3,800 watt hours of capacity. Though only weighing half of the full unit, you are adding 100% capacity with each battery. The flexibility in the battery cables aid in keeping this setup compact. Up to six of these batteries can be connected, scaling the system to a remarkable 26 kilowatt hours. Its longevity is assured with the batteries rated for 3000 cycles, approximately translating to a decade of usage backed by a five-year warranty. If connected to the home power panel, which we'll discuss in more detail in a later video, you can parallel two of these units, each with six expansion batteries, doubling your capacity to over 53 kilowatt hours, as well as an 18 kilowatt surge capacity. The F3800 is smart too, with UPS functionality boasting a cutover time of 20 milliseconds when the grid goes down and adjustable charging speeds via a smart app, it brings power management into the digital age. Let's talk about the ports. The F3800 is equipped with a variety of outlets designed for many other needs that you won't find in other portable power stations, including high-powered options for RVs, electric vehicles, and heavy-duty applications, as well as USB ports for your everyday devices. Not to mention it's equipped with innovative features like an uninterruptible power supply for critical loads, ensuring you're always connected. Let's take a closer look. On the right side at the very top of the unit sit two special ports, a NEMA 1450 and a NEMA L1430R, both providing 240 volt AC output at a continuous 25 amps. These ports are essential for managing heavy duty demands, whether integrating into a comprehensive home backup system or connecting to your RV for power on the go. And for those with electric vehicles, both the NEMA 1450 and 1430 provide convenient, direct EV charging options, ensuring your vehicle is always ready to go. And over to the right, we can turn these ports on and off. Below, we have six NEMA 520R outlets, also known as your standard home AC outlets. These offer the conventional 120 volt AC power at 20 amps, suitable for everyday household appliances. These three outlets here on the left are designed to act as the uninterruptible power supply, or UPS. 
This means should the power from the grid fail while the F-3800 is connected, these devices will continue to operate smoothly with a switchover time of 20 milliseconds, virtually unnoticed. For safety, a resettable breaker provides overcharge protection, safeguarding the F-3800 against overload. On the unit's front, a car socket offers 120 watts of 12-volt DC power, complete with an on-off button for all of your 12-volt appliances when traveling. Adjacent to this, you have a Bluetooth button which facilitates pairing the device with the app. Then, we have three USB-C outputs with Anchor's PowerIQ Fast Charging Intelligent Technology capable of 100 watts each, as well as two USB-A outputs at 12 watts each also with IQ technology. Above those, you have a clear, easy-to-read LCD display for easy monitoring and control with a button that can turn that display on and off. This large on-off button is your power button for the unit with a reset button underneath. On the opposite side, you'll find the home power port for linking the F3800 to the home power panel, supporting 240 volt AC charging and discharging. This would also be where you would connect it to your transfer switch if you decided to go that route for more of a critical loads panel setup. The transfer switch supports 10 circuits of your choosing and also allows you to choose when to power those through the grid or power station. There's also a 100 to 120 volt AC input port for recharging the F3800 from the grid with the included cord. Just remember, when using AC charging, some of the ports do become disabled, which we will look at later when we do some of our testing. Below that, we have two XT60 solar input ports. These allow for connecting solar panels, accommodating up to 10 amps of solar charging at 11 to 32 volts, and up to 25 amps at 32 to 60 volts. Now, the station will limit the amperage based on the input it's getting, whether that be based on sunlight at the moment or the number of modules connected. And we've already shown you the last port here where you can plug in your expansion battery. One of the F3800's most notable attributes is its AC coupling capability via the use of the home power panel, along with this accompanying sub-panel to make it a seamless home backup power supply. This means it can be charged from excess solar energy, whatever you may already have installed on your home, that may be beyond the 60 volt limit, or grid power, ensuring it's always ready for an outage. Anchor's 400 watt portable solar panel pairs perfectly with the F3800 if on the go, featuring reliable MC4 connectors to XT60s, as well as kickstands for optimal positioning. You'll need to pay attention to your setup to achieve the maximum solar input at 60 volts and 25 amps with the provided paralleling cables. However, if you can allow your setup to receive a maximum solar input of 2,400 watts, this could efficiently charge the power station with max input in approximately two hours. Charging with solar is actually the fastest way to charge the F3800 since you can only charge at 1800 watts from the grid with AC. Whether using Anchor Solix flexible panels or any others with an MC4 to XT60 adapter, the system is designed for flexibility as long as the setup remains under 60 volts, broadening its appeal and making it an excellent choice for off-grid adventures or emergency preparedness. If not using the Anchor Solix branded panels, you will need to purchase your own MC4 to XT60 terminations. I was able to purchase this 10 gauge, 10 foot wire from Amazon for about $20 at the time of this video. With the additional purchase of another cord, you can also use these XT60 ports with your car's auxiliary output port to charge this station if needed at 120 watts. Charging the F3800 is versatile, accepting AC and DC inputs. We connected one of the Anchor 400 watt panels, which is only one sixth of the input that it could receive, starting at noon and let it charge with solar input for just under four hours, just to see how much increase we could get in our state of charge. We saw a 13% increase in our state of charge. If we multiplied that by a full six panels, theoretically, we would be right around 78% state of charge with solar after four hours. While Anchor says it prefers sunlight, allowing a max input of 2,400 watts. The manual states that bringing it to full charge through AC takes just under three hours at maximum speed with a max input of 1,800 watts. Let's test that and see. First, we have completely discharged the unit to zero capacity. Now, 
will use the included AC charging cord along with a timer to measure how long it takes to recharge to 100% capacity. So, how long did it actually take to fully charge the F3800 using grid power? In our test, the unit only took 2 hours and 42 minutes to charge from 0% to 100% using the AC charging port connected to the grid. That's impressively fast for a full charge from zero. While charging with AC power, only the three standard 120 volt UPS outlets on the left support pass-through charging, making them ideal for critical devices needing an uninterrupted power supply. All of the other AC outlets, including the 240 volt and the right side 120 volt outlets are disabled during AC charging as confirmed by a multimeter. Now that it's full with a constant resistive load, let's test its actual capacity if we drain the battery all the way down to zero from 100%. To conduct this test, we'll use our 240 volt outlet connected to a load bank to draw a constant power load. We'll set each leg of the 240 volt power supply to 1600 watts, making the unit provide a total of just over 3000 watts until the f 3800 battery is completely drained, reaching 0% state of charge. We'll use a stopwatch to accurately track the time and measure the wattage through our load bank, allowing us to calculate the total kilowatt hours used and determine the battery's efficiency. After 54 minutes, we completely discharged the F3800 at a steady rate of 3,045 watts. This translates to a 2.7 kilowatt hour battery capacity measuring precisely 2,741 watt hours. Considering some losses due to heat and AC inverter conversion, we calculated an efficiency of 72% of the full 3,840 watt hour battery capacity. The F3800 features a UPS switchover time of less than 20 milliseconds. Let's put that to the test. We've set up a computer running a video, another showing a file transfer, and a digital clock all connected to our UPS ports. For this test, our PC and two monitors are plugged into a power strip, which is then connected to one UPS port. To easily simulate a power outage, we have the Anchor Solix F3800 plugged into a power strip, which is then connected to a wall outlet for grid power. By flipping the switch on the power strip, we can cut off grid power and see if there's any noticeable difference when the F3800 takes over. We'll watch for any screen glitches or a blinking digital clock. The F3800 should switch to DC power so quickly that the transition is seamless. Let's go ahead and flip the switch. Look, our screens didn't even glitch. Our clock is not blinking. We are now operating on DC power only, and the only way we would ever know is seeing the app go from 0 watts AC input, since we're already at 100% state of charge, to a double dash meaning it is no longer receiving AC input at all, yet it is still outputting AC watts using DC power. The UPS definitely works on this device. During this UPS switchover test, we're also evaluating the output of all USB ports via the app. Note that some USB-A ports show no output because the connected devices are fully charged. However, our MacBook Pro, already being at 67% state of charge, is drawing about 45 watts from a USB-C port, which is correct for its 3 amp and 15 volt requirements. The iPad, plugged into the second USB-C port, is charging at approximately 20 watts, which is its maximum fast charging rate, according to Apple. Although we haven't reached the maximum 100 watt output per port for the USB-C ports, we are reaching the appropriate outputs for each device. What if I needed to take it outdoors to run some power tools? What are its capabilities? The Anchor Solix F3800 made light work of running my circular saw, drill, and compressor. Using a max of 1,542 watts, these tools only used about 25% of the available power this unit can provide. The F3800 is ready to be your go-to power companion effortlessly supporting various power tools for all your outdoor tasks. On our camping adventures, the F3800 can become a reliable power hub. You can simply plug it into your camper and you're ready to go. It's perfect for those days when you're ready to venture out yet need all the comforts of home. Here, 
we demonstrate charging our RV battery by connecting the camper plug directly to the Anchor Solix F3800. Then, with the 83800 in tow as we venture out, I can dry my hair, brew fresh coffee, keep cool with a fan, and we can even whip up grilled cheese sandwiches for the crew on our electric skillet. All at once, using a max of 2,375 watts, which is less than half of what this unit can deliver. In fact, if not for the RV, I could consider that the Anchor Solix F2600 would be the perfect device for an outing like this. Now that we've seen its 240 volt ability with the RV, let's see how it works with an electric vehicle. My friend has agreed to let us try this out by charging his Tesla. The Tesla has a current state of charge of 56%. Our F3800 power station is at 100% state of charge, and he has agreed to let us fully discharge the Anchor Solix to charge his car. Although an adapter was needed, this was a normal thing and was already available, making connections easy. Once the power station was turned on and the inverter button was pushed twice for EV mode, charging began. It took a total of 34 minutes and 11 seconds to totally discharge the power station, adding 3 kilowatt hours, 4% state of charge, and approximately 12 battery miles to the Tesla. This might help him get to the next charging station if in need. While we've seen the Anchor F3800 excel in many of the tests we've run it through today, it does so many other things. The F3800 supports easy integration into home systems through the use of a generator port with the use of an interlock kit, a transfer switch with 10 circuits available for a critical loads panel, or home power panel for full home backup. A qualified electrician can have you up and running in no time. The home power panel's built-in Wi-Fi allows for remote management, adding a layer of convenience and control. Anchor's attention to detail shines through in features like the soft, flexible connector for expansion batteries, a stark contrast to the rigid options seen in competitors. The F3800's app is another highlight offering intuitive control and monitoring of your power usage. And while the ambient light on the unit might be more about aesthetics than function, it's touches like these that set the F3800 apart. Is the Anchor Solix F3800 the right choice for you? If you're seeking a versatile, powerful, and thoughtfully designed power station that bridges the gap between portability and home backup capability, it's a strong contender. Its unique features combined with Anchor's reputation for quality make the F3800 a worthy investment for those looking to step up their power game. The Anchor Solix F3800 is not just a power station. It's a comprehensive energy solution blending reliability, efficiency, and user convenience. Whether it's for powering a home during outages, charging an EV, controlling your adventures on the road, or powering tools for a project, the F3800 has you covered, providing convenient, reliable power without the need to run to the gas station to fill up the gas power generator with more fuel. Wherever you are, whatever you need, it's designed to be there for you to meet your power needs. Thank you for joining us as we explore the Anchor Solix F3800. This could be just the beginning of your journey to energy independence. Solar energy is proving to be more accessible and practical every day for a diverse audience, and the F3800 plays a crucial role in realizing this potential. Interested in making the switch to solar? Visit us at SignatureSolar.com and let's harness the power of the sun together. For more products, installations, tips, tricks, and insights into your solar journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll get all the latest information. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone. See you next time.